Good morning and welcome to another Zero to 60 guys. Today we're in a Nissan Navara MP300 dual cab. Yeah, this one is the ST model in fact. The ST model sits in the middle of the RX range and the SDX range, so sort of bang in the middle. This one, the ST features things like alloy wheels, leather accented steering wheel and the LED headlights which look awesome. That's it. Actually thinking about it, the only thing this doesn't have that the STXs do have is the leather interior. They've got slightly bigger wheels from memory, and they have the better standard navigation unit, they've got the bigger screen. Yeah, well speaking of the infotainment system, this particular car, um, the owner has fitted what can only really be described as a family television. Yeah, and it also has the internet built in. So when I've had enough of driving around in a countryside, I can simply follow the route back to where I started from. That's clever. Now, engine-wise, this one's got the 2.3-litre twin-turbo diesel motor, uh, which is pretty much standard across the whole MP300 range. Um, they're rated at 140 kilowatts, which is the same as the previous generation D40 ST. Um, interestingly enough, they had a 2.5-litre single-turbo. Um, this one, so it's, it's got the same power as the previous generation, even though it's smaller, but this does hit its peak power earlier in the rev range and the same goes for the torque actually it all comes in a bit earlier which makes it feel like it's got more power yeah it does feel it feels right it feels right for for you yeah actually i went in this car before i had the suspension on it even though it's been lifted now and it's got much heavier springs it still feels more comfortable to go in which is bizarre i guess steens are doing something special yeah i guess yeah, you get what you pay for and obviously you could have gone a cheaper option but it went a good one and yeah um, actually, he did mention since fitting these tyres, the fuel economy has, has dropped from about 6.5 litres per 100 k's to around 8, which is still pretty damn good for a, a relatively big car with a big payload, and yeah, that's pretty good. So given it has got these tyres, what do you reckon the acceleration is going to do? Uh, Time-wise, to 100 k's an hour, I'm really not sure. This is the first time I've driven it. It doesn't feel like a sports car, funnily enough. <laughs> A massive heavy duty dual cab use. Um, but if I had to put a number on it, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm not going to be nice, I'm going to say 11 seconds. 11, 11, that's fair. Uh, it's obviously not a priority for Nissan or anyone buying this car. <laughs> they, they don't even list an official time, nobody. No. Uh, so it'll be, I'm interested to in see what it will do. However, I'm not sure. It's definitely going to be double digits, but where or how far into double digits, I guess we'll have to find out. In fact, Let's go and do it. Let's do it. Well, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't terrible. Uh, definitely not a blistering time, but did it, did it have to change into fourth? Yeah, the guy did change into fourth gear, which is bizarre. I've never, I don't know any cars that need to be in fourth gear to do 100. No, but, but then again, being a torquey little diesel, it, it's you know not a high RPM engine, so I guess it's probably... Makes sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. Sense. Yeah. Um, I think the fastest time we got was 13.3. Mm, yeah, around there, which so it beat the cube. Yes. So it's not the slowest Nissan. Yeah, uh, probably. Still more, I'd probably say more versatile than the cube. Uh, I like yeah. the fact that this is the modern day sort of work ute, and yet you can jump in this and drive to Sydney. Absolutely. On the same day, you're cruising to the work site. 
crossing swamps, whatever. It's um, even compared to like a Hilux from a couple of years ago, it's such a nicer uh, daily. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, closing statements. Don't buy an MP300 if you want to go drag racing, but do buy one if you want to be comfortable and move some shit. Yeah, or um, take a Tinder date at the beach. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll catch on the next one. Peace.